Hi guys, uh, and welcome back. Um, today I want to talk about this Wrangler 47 MWZ um, jeans, and this is uh, lined up with uh, they lined with flannel. I'm in the Midwest, and it's uh, it's freezing this winter. It's really brutal. So I decided to get myself a little Christmas present, and uh, I do have like older. It's 80 Bauer by 80 Bauer, and and you know I had them for eight years, and they completely like worn out. So I decided to pick up this one, and I want to do just want to share with you and see, um, you know, to kind of do like a brief review. You know, I like this brand, and so I decided to. You know, pull the trigger, and I got it directly from uh, Wrangler, and uh, the price was fifty nine, yeah, fifty nine dollars uh, plus uh, shipping, about eight ninety five, and plus tax. So total, I think it was seventy one bucks, and I got directly from uh, Wrangler uh, website in US. So some people you can, you guys can get it on Amazon. But anyway, let's dive into it. My first impression is. It's denim. Let's talk about denim. This is uh, a little disappointed because it's not broken twill denim. As you know, as you guys know, if you you know any of you have like 13 MWZ or 936, you have. Here is my pair. This is 936 classic. Uh, this is a, as you can see. This is a nice broken twill, which is kind of like a Wrangler's you know landmark. Uh, favorite denim. This is just a right hand twill, very standard, and it's been pre washed. So, this is just a dark wash, or they call it one wash. So, as you can see, pretty dark. But you know, it you know, first impression is it's pretty nice, like I said, except the denim. But it's pretty, it's heavy enough, it's probably like a 13.5 ounces. Um, so, uh, as you can see, this is pretty classic. Uh, you know, on this side, uh, pretty classic, kind of like, a, you know, back pockets is the same with W, um, you know, classic Wrangler W stitch and uh, you have all these, like, four copper rivets as, uh, you know, traditional, since it's uh, pretty much designed for work, uh, traditional seven belt loops. Uh, on this side, as you can see, same, you have a classic so in other words, it's pretty much like, I would say this is very similar to all the classic kind of number 13 or 936, the same as you can see, except uh, the difference is um, they kind of made this coin pocket very traditional, like you see on Levi's, for example, or on like Leo and other brands. Um, as you guys know, the Wrangler coin pocket, it's a much, much bigger. You see, and it sits right under the belt. So you have the same style on, you know, number 13 or 936. I don't know why Wrangler didn't keep, you know, this style, which is kind of a traditional. So they decided just to go with any kind of a standard, sort of like one, 501 sleeve eyes. Um, so that's one thing I noticed. Uh, the, also, the difference is, what so they have the same like patch this leather it's not a leather it's just synthetic rubberized uh, kind of a rubber I think they call it nihilite this um, you know with logo and uh, first I thought that this is you know they have like a embroidered logo Wrangler logo on the yoke here I thought it's under this tag but it's actually missing it's not I'm talking about this one you know which is traditional and I do like it a lot, so it's kind of like a, you know, I had several, and we always have this embroidered kind of like little label. It's missing here. I know it's not a big deal, but you know, <laughs> if you like a denim head, you want. It's all about little details, as you guys know. Every little like stitch or rivet, it's personally to me, it's kind of important. Okay, let's move along. So the size, the pocket size, I think it's pretty much like standard. So they could be a little bigger, uh, but again. So, like I said, first disappointment with the denim, it's not traditional broken twill denim, uh, but it's okay. I mean, it's I like at least it's a dark wash, it looks nice. You know, you have kind of like, you know, just the first stage of fading. Um, so let's dive into uh, 
Yeah, so I want to mention also the zebra. Zebra is quite nice here. In fact, this is kind of like a almost like almost like a 70s, 60s style. It has this boot stamp, the cowboy boot here. So as, uh, for example, my number 13, it's just YKK zipper. This is like a, kind of like a 70s, 60s style with a boot stamp, which is a nice touch. I like that. So, and also has, there is a label number 47, regular fit. Again, this is a regular fit. Let's, let's talk, this is important about regular fit, which is actually, not so regular to me because uh, just my first impression when I pulled out of you know out of like a bag. <laughs> so my first impression is the huge. I mean they're wide, and we'll get to the measurements. But I I would say right away it's it's not for me. It's not regular fit. This is it's I would call it more like a relaxed fit because this is you know let's do it. Let's do the measurements. So first of all. Let's do, um, let's do the belt, the waistline. So the waistline is, uh, let me just line it up. It's, uh, okay, it's 18, so which is, yeah, it's 18 inches, which is kind of 34. Again, this is size 34, uh, length 30, and I am the Levi's. My 501s, it's always like 34, so I got the same 34. And uh, so the 18 inches is, is how it should be. So it says it's a medium, like medium rise. And uh, I would say it's it's exactly, okay, let me see this way so you can see it. So it's exactly 11 inches here. Yeah, 11, so this is kind of a, yeah, it's kind of a medium rise, I agree. Medium to high, I would say. And uh, in the in the thigh, let's do that. Okay, in the thigh, it's 13, 13 and a half. Wow, that's pretty, pretty wide. And I could tell right away. And in the knee, okay, 13 down. So in the knee, okay. It's a 10 inches. This this pants gonna be huge on me. I'm serious. So this is like we're gonna, you know, first of all, when I put them on, you will see, you know, like at the end of this video, you will see the, the you know, I will, you know, will run a little like a quick fit video. So you will see how they fit on me. At at the bottom, at the bottom pan is it's eight and half like 8.75 i would say so that's my first impression the first of all they're going to be very baggy and huge so what i'm thinking let's talk about okay the price i mean the quality is okay uh and i forgot to mention they actually made in mexico so it's label normally you have a label over here but in this case it's label right here made in Mexico, uh, the stitches also, you know, since it's lined up here, I could not tell if it's a chain stitch or not. I would presume that this is a chain stitch underneath, uh, let's say here on the yoke here, like you see, like you have this, this is, this is 936, and you have this yoke with a chain stitch. I presume that's most likely underneath this is a chain stitch, hopefully. So the inseam, it's a single stitch and, and it's a double outside. So let's talk about, this is actually important about inside seam. The thing is, what you could do, I, I don't think I'm gonna leave it, you know, there's two ways, for, for personally for me, I'd rather just return them or, you know, the second choice is to alter this, to go to professional alterations or do it yourself. So when I put them on, there's two things. They're huge. They're very baggy. What you could do, since it's a single seam in here, and it's pretty easy actually to take off about, I would say about an inch and a half, because it's probably, like if you compare it to other styles, you need in the knee, 
you need probably about like eight and a half, nine inches. So you have to shave off at least one inch, one and a half inch. You can do it pretty easy, you know, if you have a sewing machine. I might even do a video about this. <laughs> it's fairly easy. So you can simply run it and you can make it even your, you know, if you have a, if this like rise is too high for you, you can actually even lower it, make it a little lower rise. So you can leave it if you can just run it here and all the way across it, just one long, long, long gonna be one. It's, it would take you probably like 20 minutes to do it in the sewing machine, half an hour, or you go to alteration shop and uh, let's say you're gonna pay probably 25 bucks. So if this one is like, let's say it's a 70, you know, 71 plus 25, It'll be total about like what less than 96 dollars. It's still less than 100 dollars. You're gonna have a pretty nice winter, you know, pants with an exception that you know you have to spend some time to alteration. About this lining, so two things. At first, it's um, you know it's it's not a super warm. I would say this is not like a fleece. They're probably the one with, I think a Wrangler has a model with the fleece. This one is, but I'm not sure it's uh, the one with fleece, it's a 47 style. This one is pretty thin and uh, it's, it's not very fast. I think what I'm trying to say, it's not, I don't think it's gonna be very warm. Also, I'm thinking is, yeah, I wish there would be some kind of like a, a little more contrast flannel, different color, like a red, sort of like my, sort of like my shirt. It would be nice when you like cuff it up. And this one, you hardly can see it when you cuff it up. So second thing, I did not mention this, and this is the most important. When I measure it in the seam here, inside seam, they much shorter, almost an inch shorter. So they're supposed to be 30 inches length. I guess when they wash it, in the process of washing, they shrunk, I don't know if they, um, took it in consideration, but this is something for you guys to consider because when I put them on, it, I usually like to cuff it up when I get like a, you know, 30 inch length. So it would be, I have at least a couple inches extra to cuff it up. This one is just, you know, there is no space, it's, it's just too short. There's not enough length for me to do it like a cuff style. So that's one disappointment. This is 29 lengths. Uh, trust me, I measure it, uh, it's supposed to be 30. Sometimes actually Wrangler does like extra length, like a half an inch, a quarter inch. This one, much shorter, like an inch shorter. Just keep that in mind if you order it. So otherwise, I mean, I'm kind of a struggle because it's, you know, on one hand, it's like pretty nice. I would say that they would look much nicer than my AJ Bauer, um, but with this alteration headache, so I might so take a chance and maybe try to do alteration myself because I usually don't, you know, when I go to alteration shops, they never, I never satisfy, they never do like a good job. And uh, um, I've done quite a few times just the length. It's pretty easy on sewing machine, but I'm pretty sure I probably can, can do this job. Uh, you know, just one long single stitch and the only thing you would have to um, you would have to do like overlock. So you see like this one, you actually can make it pretty nicer. This is like, I, I'm not sure why, why is it done with like a white thread. It's kind of weird. So anyway, this is it. I think we, I covered pretty much everything. Like I said, there's a few things I'm missing. Like, you know, it's, it's a different. It's kind of weird, it's a mixture of 501s and with traditional stuff. I'm um, kind of, you know, strange that they changed the coin pocket style instead traditional, like a much larger, you know, like when you have like Wrangler, like number 13 and number 936. But it's okay, it's not a deal breaker. Otherwise, they could be good jeans and uh, you might get probably cheaper on Amazon. And uh, again, this is 3430 uh, style number 47, 47 MWZ, purchased here in the US from Wrangler. Um, but 
I think that's just way, way too uh, loose for me, too baggy, and uh, um, just keep in mind, guys, if you get it, unless you like this style of kind of relaxed pants, so keep in mind, if you get it, you probably have to alter them. Personally, I probably will, and if I will do alteration myself, I'm definitely gonna do like, <laughs> like a separate video for that. That would be a whole different experience. And thank you so much for watching, and please, you know, put some likes, um, you know, comments or questions. Um, I always will be happy to answer. Thank you.